Hello, this is Oko Belzer. Welcome to Belzer Strategic Arcana. This is my continuing multiplayer match versus Dudeman with the Total Realism Project by Lothos for Strategic Command. World War II War in Europe. I am the Allies. He is the Axis. Let's go. It's going to be episode 28. I think you're getting a tail on July 1940. So the dog days of summer are upon us. It's probably getting hot as hell in the Sahara. I would like to make it as hot as hell for the Italians. I just don't have the the means to do it just yet. <clears throat> anyway, we'll, we'll monitor the situation now. We're, uh, Malta. Malta is at really at high risk. I had mentioned it before, especially with this mod. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, bringing in railguns and you're shooting them across. I don't know how realistic that is for the realism project, that, but we're not going to house rule that. That's a no, that's a known thing, uh, you know. Uh, so Lolo's just take note, rail guns. But you know you need them to be able to shoot that far. You know if you're like bombarding Leningrad or something like that. That's what they're intended for. Or maybe they were intended for Malta. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it, but I had forgotten that people have done that to me before. It's been a long time since I played War in Europe. I played Crispy, Crispy's uh, Fall Weiss 2 mod. I did some single player with that. And, uh, I hadn't done a lot of multiplayer with any. It was years ago, anyway. Anyway, here we go. See? Kroomp. <clears throat> yep, Bombard. See, one of my docks is down, but not the other one because he needs three. So you just go ahead and take damage. I might bring the whole freaking fleet down here. But the other the other issue here is look at the rain. It's not over the island, but even if it was, even if it was, those are offshore rain. I, I've seen that actually. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but it is here. Um, yeah, you can he can attack. But he left off on the dock. That's interesting. I wonder if he's just trying to goad me to come down here so the, so I can go steam into the Luftwaffe's loving embrace. Malta damage from bombing. Yeah, I got a couple trans some transports coming up. Is it a faint? Are you going to do this? Of course you're going to put that there prominently to make me worry. But we are going to scout the coast. So let's look at Malta and see what's going on. See, uh... Oops, sorry. Also, I'm hoping it's quieter. I got a silent mouse, a Logitech mouse. It's pretty nice, but there was one little anomaly. Uh, if you watched the last video when I went to in-game chat, I was having a pop-up here. It says I have the caps on or not the caps on. I found, what, what is this? A PC 10, I mean Windows 10 machine, right? What, what, now what? So I went through all, I went in the control panel and I wasn't seeing anything. I didn't make any changes, but, you know, Windows. I'm an old Mac guy, so I'll tell you, Windows, yeah, so there's stuff that goes on. Uh, updates screw up my audio a lot, settings a lot of times, especially with my recording software. However, I couldn't figure it out, and I thought, okay, what did, what did I change? Oh, I got new hardware. I got peripheral. So enough, to, you can enable, uh, have be able to see caps if they're on or not you're on your uh but on the keyboard or i mean on the mouse <sighs> i got a little light that tells me caps on so anyway eliminate that but i wanted to quiet so we'll have in game quiet so he's restored that what the heck? what are you doing no look at that okay but let's see supply That was quick. Oh, you're going to keep one ship right next to it on each one.
we'll see what kind of response we're going to get. Let's. Uh, Everybody's got to destroy it, but I'm going to do it. There we go. spot with, my, with a sub. I got a carrier here. Okay. <clears throat> July 29th. So, <clears throat> all right, I might need you down in Africa. Go around Africa to get you in Egypt. Fight for the med, which uh, well, I think we have to do. I wanted this for Britain in case of a sea line. So I need to go ascertain when that's going to happen. Then in the next few turns, I'm going to be getting fighters, but I got to upgrade them. HQ's way out in September, and there's nothing I can do about that. Well, if I play this skin as allies, it'll probably be a long time, but, it, well, you never know. Uh, maybe not, but uh, I will get an HQ in a lot quicker. Of course, I could always send one from Egypt. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. So I'm not seeing any tall t telltales, submarine telltale, t telltales. Uh, let's go look at research. Again, I'm going to... Malta thing really did go down fast. Kind of expecting it would, but not that fast. But he's planned us out. So definitely Malta. He's going to have the Africa cores here in the winter. It's quite a long ways out. I need to be able to push him though. But I don't have any tanks down there. Um, we could probably start saving our money. I really can't buy anything. I don't want, I would love to do production tech. Uh, I, there are some upgrades I may do. Let's go look at purchases here, just for the hell of it. That'd be in November. I would love to have this. This is a Marine unit. It says Corps Elite Infantry, but it's uh, Special Forces. Even a, a core is what I'd want, armored core. That'd be that's. But again, we got to save money. Tab medium bombers. How much are they? <clears throat> yeah. And that's going to be a long ways out too. But I definitely need one. British should never have start the game with a lot of medium bombers. And of course, the other one's maritime bomber. Uh, those two, everything. Hmm. Oh, those are not, those are pretty good actually. That's not a bad price, but how about a mechanized core? Yeah. November 26th. That's a long ways out to. Um, well, I don't know. <clears throat> so we're going to maintain the status quo here. Oh, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, let's do Britain. I need to see. I brought this light cruiser here on purpose. I got a CV too. I'm going to put you on fire. I ain't going to bomb shit. Put you on. Oh, I got to repair you. Okay, we got you ready. Let's put you on fire. You on fire. I got one here too. Make sure that we're on. Don't need to do an intercept. 
Yeah. Okay. We got to see. Oh, jeez. Right into it. Ha <laughs> ha. Aha. Okay. We won't move you yet. I want to see what you've got. Oh, this sub. Uh, I do got to do this. This. I'm going to need you back in the med quick. That is a chunk of change. Nothing. I'm going to get you down to Africa. <clears throat> I do believe so. Scott the coast, do you like cruiser? Well, well, well. You think you're funny, don't you? Just get you back. Subs. WR. Let's get them, boys. Yes. I think the whole loof off is gone, but I'm not sure. We're going to find out. There's the other one. I gotta get you fixed. Pronto. I just don't think you've got anything out here. I'm gonna go look. No, he's not here. Let's go see right, right here. Nope. I don't see a sea line happening right quick. Okay. Let's get you in here. gonna repair you that's right you only got oh I really do need these um, let's get you let me get you in the bite here I'm not spending money on you yet let's get you over here no loof off of, no I not let's get you here uh, stand by Okay, we will we will fix you up, reinforce you. We're gonna, I think we're gonna send a big force down the med. We have to, <clears throat> but we knew we got these. Now we could tell I must everybody. We know where the Italian subs are. I need more forces down here, <clears throat> but before we do that, then let's let's uh, go ahead. Let's get up here. You're going down to the med, and you're going right here. You, I'm going to upgrade this heavy cruiser with naval weaponry. 
that's 45 MPP. That's a lot of money, I know. But I need some of these. Okay. We do got the, I got another destroyer. Okay, I've got these guys and a destroyer. We're gonna rush you. Yep. you out I'm gonna do it now so I'm gonna to have to send it well that just is risky I know I'm gonna send a task force I'm gonna go for it I'm closing my eyes ha <laughs> I'm gonna send a ta uh, more ships down we're gonna get that we're gonna get that anti-tank in there so we got to cover you uh, let's just put the carrier on this here yeah He's gonna, he could pop here, but uh, let's, we can't go right on the hex. Yeah, we're just gonna all go together. All right, so we got, we got an anti-tank, so we're gonna have to run the gauntlet. Is there anything else we could send down? We could. I'm gonna send a battle cruiser out. Oh, he could get not really good shape for that. Um, This is high risk if I do this. Let's get you in here. All right. Good boys. You guys gotta run hard. Going to England anyway. this one because these u-boats are gonna fly what can I get I'm gonna try it oh boy would he come out let's protect you I'm gonna bring this down Not really worried about landing right now, obviously. Uh, this task force, I might <clears throat> other miss. I'll skip this in, in England. Okay, let's get you in there. Um, well, I'm protecting England too, but I think he is on ass everything. He doesn't have anything in here. That's we could rail back though, unless I bring a strategic bomber and start hammering his railways. It is an idea. It is certainly an idea. Okay, let's go to Egypt. <clears throat> Fun stuff, man. Now we got to get you in here. Okay, so we have a unit. I'm go I'm going to send a. Let's go down here. Okay, that's going to cost me twenty to get up here. Yeah. Let's look at supply. I can't go far, man. I'm going to spend the money. I'm going to get you up here. And get you in here. I need to get you in here. I'm going to bring a division down. Well, yeah, and you're going also. Tanky, you could dead. Oh, I'm going to... No, 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 no. You are for Cairo. Okay. 
you are going down. There we go. Nice. Nice marching, boys. Uh, here. Djibouti. I've been there. It's not really a really nice place. Okay. Let's go check where the potential supply is going to be. Five on the port here. I should put them here. Oh, seven. Oh, much better. Bell. There we go. So we will upgrade this. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna work away to Meckley. Do we want to upgrade this? No. We got 73. Or do we? How much? Upgrade. No, we can't. No. Because supply? Yes. Okay. So it's out of Djibouti. Yeah, that's, yeah. This is all mountainous here anyway. That's Puntland now. Somalia is basically three. Somalia, Somaliland, which is unrecognized by everybody, except for Saudi Arabia and a couple other countries. And actually, it's pretty viable if you're going to. And then there's Puntland, which is kind of, well, just... <laughs> It's a mess. So we can drive on Mekele. We'll take Asmara, and then we'll go down here. So we'll get this port here in Eritrea. Yeah. Yeah, Asmara. So <clears throat> let's go move off. Just like make them like we're going. I can't see anything. I could bring aircraft down here to spot. Maybe a tactical bomber for the moment. How much does it cost to operate? Because I don't need all these guys here. Uh, well, this would help things. I can't get in Djibouti. I could fly from Barbara. Bar Bar oh. Uh, let's rescind that for a second. Oh, yeah, this is going to be rough here, too, once we get in. Yeah, this is interesting. Do we want to do this? Could put you in here. One, two, three, four, five. I am curious if he's got anything there. I gotta find out. Do I want to do it? Could rail a I don't think so. <clears throat> we need to get you start digging, boy. Let's bomb Benghazi again. shells if I do this. I only got one anyway. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. Okay. Do we want a kite? Looks like I'm going to spend all my money anyway.
Well, I'll go ahead and get you digging. in Alexandria. So we're going to be bringing another anti-tank gun down. I'm gonna spend the money. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send a tactical bomber down. So, again, good spire. One, two, three, four, five. Or out of here. Should I do it here? One, two, three, four. I have to fly him in close. Oh. Sorry, I gotta do look at this again. I'm gonna fly him down to Bear Bear. It's 18 MPP. I don't got a lot of money, but I need to see. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. <clears throat> Could bring the oh wait a second here. I actually could bring you down, but then I'm blind here. No, I'm going to bring the tactical bomber down. I need another one of these over here. Well, I'm getting experience. I don't want to see my weak guys. Damn it! Oh, that's a piece of cost, isn't it? Fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I bet he's laughing. Do men, you're laughing, aren't you? <laughs> well. Blow me down. Well, we're going to see what kind of, what, what, how we're going to get handled there. So what we got then, we got another task force coming. We'll have a carrier. We'll keep a couple of these CVLs here. We'll fare you. I got 33 MPP left. I don't really want to spend it. Uh, we have this. So we know, I bet you all of his, all of his uh, subs are out. So let's get on here. Our supply is going to go down to nine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to see if anything comes through. I just wonder if I should pull my jets. We're gonna be have to be able to we're gonna have to be able to see here. I got a strategic bomber so we can we can scout. Fighter.
I move you already? Yeah, I did. Ten action point, two action points. <clears throat> so that's a rebasing. Yeah, this is kind of cumbersome. We have to do this, but we have to. But I, but I can move one hex. Okay, I'm gonna move to here. I'm gonna move to here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Soviet Union. Well, let's go look at the United States first. How we going? How we doing, boys <clears throat> and girls? Hmm. We're at 43% mobilization, but our industrial cap capability has not increased. Not yet. It will in the future. Nobody wants fit, wants to think they're going to be getting involved in any of this stuff. Everybody's being typical Americans and going, no, it's their problem over there. Until it shows up in your face. Uh, well, we got advanced fighters going anyway. <clears throat> That's a thing. And we're going to have a bunch of Ronsons, <laughs> lighters. We'll, we'll never get caught up to the Germans. No, and this is where we're going to want to throw down right here, industrial tech. We, we that's that's the thing. Okay, let's go look at the Soviets. Ooh, we're very close to advanced fighters. I have a shadow visor. I talked to him about uh, about this research with the Soviets. Uh, kind of recommend I keep going advanced fighters. I probably will. I can probably get caught up, but the money is not that good. That's the thing. But to get in there, I did definitely want to get an infantry weapons. That's 150. This is 175, and I'm going to have about what, 350. Well, well, we'll find out in a little bit. Uh, so I probably will be able to follow it up with infantry weapons. Generally, again, with the Soviets, no, I'm never going to advanced fighters, at least in WA. World War, but that's a whole different thing. This is. This, though, I need to be able to put as much pressure on the Luftwaffe as possible down the road, mid-war when the Soviets are in. I mean, we're going to take losses and stuff like that. But, I mean, if I just have zero, zero level of fighters against level three German fighters, I might as well just disband the bastards. <clears throat> but I can't. We don't have AA upgrades on resources. I have to, I'm going to have to resist them in the air. I mean, eventually I'm going to want long range too, but I mean, at the minimum, I, I need to have Vance fire. I got to be, I'll be behind them. But I don't want to be totally behind them where we might as well just ground our Air Force and use them as uh, passive spotters. How demoralizing. So let's go to the Soviet Union, check out our this situation. So we're still digging here. August 18th. It's taking forever, man. This is done. Now, I have a dilemma. I was thinking of digging here and digging here. Or I can spend 20 MPP and start... Well, I'd want to dig here so I'd lose a turn. This is a swamp. This is a good place, though, to make a fort line right here. But you can get in through here. You can get around it, but this would slow them down. This is a. I also want to buy a core. I'm going to want to buy a mountain core. I'm going to want to put it here. And I don't want to be able to retreat, so I'll probably keep a unit here. I don't know. Maybe in a security unit, be a throwaway. Also, Kirch. <clears throat> if he does get into Crimea, I don't want him to get into Kirch. I want, I want to have to hold, I want to make him have to be forced his way through here with artillery. So do I send you here, dig here and dig here, which is, means I have uh, staggered defenses. Start over here. This is just taking forever, man. Uh, front of Voronezh. Yeah. Or just dig here. I'll be able to get around me through the swamps, but I could put a unit here. The maximum trench on a three or two is it? Let's go look at this. No, two. 
This is three. This is a settlement. What is that? Bush. <laughs> Scrub. Yeah, can't dig. Max two. Or here. I could rail here. Try to hold him off here. He'll break through. This, though, it's actually might be better. He'll just come around behind me. I could... God, I hate to lose a turn. But I could... Go here. Start digging here. Dig here. Dig here. Then end up... That's three... That's nine turns. I didn't want to be on a rail line so I can get, get out. I don't think so. I'm going to do that just yet. I think I got time. I'm going to go ahead and dig here. Yeah. I'm going to dig here. Dig here on the rail line. This will cover the approach as a knob grod. Now you, I'm sitting down the rig up. You, I'm also going in that area. I think these guys can stay here for now. Okay. Let's just put you on auto assist for a moment. You're going to be going to Kellen and. Um, let's see, 8, 12. You're staying in Viasma. Yeah, you're going to stay here. I'm going to get you up to... We'll check this out, but I think I'm going to have you in Clinton. Yeah. All right. So you're digging here. So I'll, I'm committed. Dig here, dig here. You continue on the line here. I want to stagger it here too. I want down here, but I do want to... I am going to do something down here. So, I, in light of that, I mean, I'm pretty much going to have to concede this. Not here. But I'm going to be buying units. Yeah, this is, this is difficult. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this. Now, we don't have a house rule against this, but I'm not going to bring my fleet out and scout them. I'll scout them with subs. This is international waters. So what I'm going to do, I haven't talked to Dudeman about this. I don't know if it's cool or not. I think it was sub would be okay, the Soviets. Bringing these guys out and looking around, I don't think so. The Italians, though, have the opportunity in the med when they were neutral. So I want to see, I'm going to go ahead and do some cursory scouting. And there's nothing. Mm -hmm. I have a fighter that's coming down. The fighter's going to come down here and we're going to start watching the border. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we don't have anything else. I think that's it. So we s we saved our money so far. I think I'll start digging here because I'm gonna fall. These are fallback positions.
Which one was I looking at? Okay, it was that. Okay, let's look at this one again. Okay. It's going to be an issue eventually. Let's go look at reports. Yeah, I'm taking my time. Okay, national morale for the Germans again is still 110. The British are at 94. France, well, well free French at 100. The Americans, of course. Soviets, of course. Italians, 101. MPPs, let's look at the Germans. Big builds. He's making a little uh, over 400 and something. Um, he's looking at these two, so he's looking at this. Look at this drop in income. I believe that's from the convoy switch out of the med. That's kind of significant, but it was going through Malta and it would have been down. These go right through the docks, so it was a good call to do that, I guess. It was highly recommended. <laughs> okay, let's go see what he's seen for the United States. Yeah, he's seen that pitiful bit. This is what he's seen with the Soviets. Let's go back to the Germans. No research, eye ties. I mean, no research, well, no research, no diplomacy. Eye ties, yeah. Let's go look at their money. Oh, their money went down too. Um. Let's go look at diplo diplomacy here. <clears throat> Where's Finland at? Okay, they're at 30%. But they'll get in automatically. Or pretty quick. Yeah, it's going to be a while for Hungary's in. They're at 84. We're not doing any diplo in the Balkans. I think Hungary, I don't know if we can serve. We never listed the countries. I know it was Bulgaria that we definitely didn't want to do because it can really screw up things. I'll be curious to see the way he's playing if Dudeman's going to forego attack in Greece with the Italians. He won't He won't get a couple cores out of deal. We won't have Greece to deal with. I per personally like doing Greece as an axis. If I want to do a Mediterranean strategy, definitely. Um, but, and see, because Bulgaria gets really interested. Romania's at 73, so that's all normal. We like to get Diplo on the Saudi Arabia, but I don't have the money to do it. The higher it goes, we'll get more income out of there. 
Sweden's up 40%, yeah. Then all the Vigi states like Tunisia, Syria's only at 10%, though. Of course, Yugoslavia is 45, but there'll be a coup. Um, I know it seems like I'm meandering, but there's just there's there's so much to consider here, and I don't want to waste money, so I don't want to. I'm not going to send any more of these boys like by rail. Not yet. Not not until I really really need them, and which could be a thing. You never know. Yeah, there's no goma down here. There's goba. There's a there's a town down here. I forgot what it's called. So yeah, going through here is kind of a fool's errand. Couldn't go through Kismail to get to Mogadishu to South Africa. Did that against a fortunate son. Uh, I actually bought another core. <clears throat> let's go look at purchases. I'm not going to do it now, but let's look at what skin. I got to refresh my memory here. See, I can get two motorized cores. I really don't want to buy core, infantry cores ever at the beginning of the game when you just got to hold your ground. But I'm going to have to make moves, and I'm going to want these South Africans eventually up in North Africa. And I won't have to bring them through the med, especially if the med's going to be contested like it is now. And it's probably going to get worse. Uh, yeah, and it's nice to get an extra maritime bomber. I mean, let's go look at Canada again. Yeah, maritime bombers. So I can get a total of four maritime bombers. The problem is money again for now. I would love to have him. I should have him. He's got him. 214. I see. That's just... Uh, I'm going to go back here and look again. I wonder if... I'm going to do something. Just make it look like I'm doing something. Like I'm making a move for... I do a... Uh, one last look at the reports. Oops. Italian, 14. 11 for Germany. Yeah. 50 now. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go look at the Soviet Union. So I, I so I'm digging here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig here again. Like I said, dig here. We're gonna hold our initial line right here. So I'll actually bring these boys down. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Narva. So we'll resist there, and this is our fallback line. This is our last fallback. <laughs> Uh, and it's tough. It'll be tough for the Axis, but he's got artillery. He's, he likes to use it. He's going to have to decide if he's going to ignore this and go after it. And then uh, I'll make this the final decision after I get this line dug here. I may even do one in Novgorod, but I'll stay on the rail line. I definitely want to do the Crimea, even though it's kind of a it's going to be short notice. But I want to hold him off here, so he's going to have to decide whether to send significant resources down here. To take care of it or he's gonna have he's gonna have this and I'll have I have a ports from a navy here these are good this is Sevastopol man so I'd hate to lose it and they did eventually in 42 so if he wants to go after it, he's gonna have to do a big operation that's what that's my thoughts if he gets down in here fine actually it's gonna suck up it's wider I can defend down here pretty good and defend here don't want to lose Voronezh though. It's an industrial center. Don't want to lose Kursk, but almost invariably I'm going to lose Kursk, Bryansk, Kharkov. It's almost certain. Do Stalino, D Donetsk area here. So yeah, this is where the war is going right now. Remarkably close to the same lines, and then the Russians are they aren't in Zaporizhia between the Ukrainians, but they have all this right, and then and they got pushed, lost all that, but. Yeah, right here. <clears throat> so, okay, that's it. July 29th. So, putting a little pressure on my. I hope I didn't sacrifice my submarine by Sicily, but I want to let them know that we're we haven't we haven't forgotten about them. This is our commissions, the heavy cruiser Petrol Pavlovs at Kronstadt. Right on. All right. 
So the USSR develops advanced fighters level one. I'm curious what my money is going to be. Uh, aerial warfare development to 97%. Wonderful. We got 372, so I will go and spend the money. I'll have 200 MPP left. About, so I'll have a little short so I can go into infantry weapons too, I think. Almost certain I will. Okay, here. So the poor. I saved a little bit, so it looks like a lot. <laughs> so paying for the engineers in Egypt. No dinks on my convoys. No dinks on his either. USSR gets 44 MPP. Okay, that was a long turn, but uh, hey, I'm savoring this. This is gonna get. It's gonna get. It's gonna get rough again. Uh, hopefully for both sides, but I don't know yet. So, but we're gonna go making a go uh, run for the for the a med train to get to get to tanks because I don't think he's gonna do a sea line. I could get bit in the butt. So there you go. But that's what's fun about this game, right? All right. Well, I'll see you on the virtual battlefields. I am gonna check out Dudeman's channel, man. See it from the from the bad guy's point of view. I am gone.